Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang solving problems involving measures of position of ungrouped data. Let us recall the measures of position. We have quartiles divided into four equal parts. So, dinibide niya ang data into four equal parts. Deciles, dinibide naman yung data into ten equal parts. Yung percentiles naman ay dinibide yung data into 100 equal parts. Next, we have the relationship among quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. So, yung Q sub 1, which is the first quartile, is equal to the 25th percentile. So, yung Q sub 1 is 1 fourth, while P sub 25 is 25 over 100. So, they are just the same. Okay? So, Q sub 2 is equal to D sub 5. The fifth decile is equal to the 50th percentile. This is also called the median. So, Q sub 3 is equal to P sub 75, D sub 4 is equal to P sub 40. At marami pang uh, iba't ibang equality na mabubuo natin sa tatlong iyan. Let's have the first example. In a marathon, the top 5% of the runners will get consolation prizes. What does this mean in terms of the percentile ranking? To be able to receive consolation prizes, a runner must be faster than 95% of the participants. Hence, his or her speed must be in the 95th percentile or higher. So kapag sinabi natin di bang 95th percentile, we have the lower 95% and the upper or top 5%. Okay, so ibig sabihin dapat mas, be, mas mabilis ka sa 95% ng participants para makasama ka dun sa top 5%. Next, number two, a certain university will not admit students whose scores belong to the lower 25% of the examinees. What does this mean? The lower 25% of the scores are the scores lower than the 25th percentile. Kasi, ka, kasi nga, kapag sinabi natin 25th percentile, we have the lower 25%, ito yung hindi ma-admit. So, ibig sabihin, ang ma-admit lamang ay yung upper 75%. Next, number 3. A company will only accept the top 20% of the participants based on their overall overall scores in the selection process. Their scores are as follows. Determine the cut-off score and the scores that will be accepted. So, ito yung kanilang scores. Step 1, arrange the scores in ascending order. Okay, so ito yung arrangement niya. Ang pinakamababa ay 67, pinakamataas ay 93. Step 2, solve for the 80th percentile or 8th decile. So bakit ito yung ating kukunin? Kasi nga, sinabi rito is top 20%. So top 20% means uh, we have the 80th percentile. Okay, kasi nga sa 80th percentile, 80% sa kanya ay yung mas mababa and then 20% yung mas mataas or the 8th decile. Kasi nga, ang 80th percentile ay equal sa 8th decile. So, the position of the 8th decile, so ginamit ko rito yung 8th decile, is 8 over 10 times 15 plus 1 is equal to 12.8 position. Okay? So, sa nakuha natin yung 15, ito yung bilang ng observations. Okay? So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay? Since 8 decel siya, kaya meron tayo rito 8 over 10. Step 3, solve for the 80th percentile or 8 decile, which is the top 20%. So, ang position niya is 12.8. Okay? So, using the process in solving uh, for the, 80, the percentile or decile of an ungrouped data, we have D sub 8 is equal to the decimal part of 12.8 is 0 0.8. I-minus natin yung 90 minus 88. Ito yung pang 12 at 13 position. Okay? Kasi nga, 12.8 yung position ng ating uh, 8 decile. Okay? At i-plus natin yung 88. So, applying the... So, performing the operations, we have the 8 decile which is 89.6. So, this means the cut-off score is 89.6 and the scores that will be accepted are 90, 91, and 93. So, itong 90, 91, and 93 ang kasama sa top 20%. So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.